Coming up, we'll take a closer look at an FHS student who is taking to the skies and making a name for himself. We'll also hear about a new recycling program and catch up on sports. I'm Eleanor Eichmann. And I'm Carly Kidd. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Friday, November 4th. We've got a great show planned. Let's start with some school news. The district-wide food drive is going on until through the end of the day today. They need canned food and non-perishable items to help students in our district. Bring the cans to your advisory and the class with the most donations will win a donut party. Chop for Charity is coming up soon. The students who get the most money in their jars at lunch will get their heads shaved at the December pep rally. This event benefits the FHS Homeless Vigil. Contact a member of Student Council for more information. Student Council is hosting their annual Fall Blood Drive on November 8th. You can sign up during all lunches and you must be 16 or older to donate. Fayetteville High School is home to a young pilot who is making a name for himself in the skies. FHS TV reporter Natalie Harris tells us more about how the student has taken to aviation at such a young age. Brady Brooks is a junior here at FHS who also happens to be a private pilot. At the young age of 17, Brady is the youngest person in America to have received his pilot's license. I uh, started flying October 23rd, 2018 was my first license, so I would have been 13 years old. But he got bit by the bug when he was about 12, and he did his discovery flight by the time he was 13. You have to be 16 to solo an airplane in the United States and 17 to get your license. I totally embraced it. I think any mother would fully embrace any... Um, healthy hobby or passion of their child's. Um, it was a little expensive for any typical hobby or passion, but I fully embraced it, very proud. Yeah, so I met Brady um, just by taking photos at the airport years ago, and I've really just, you know, been friends with him since and seen him, you know, become a pilot over the time, and I, th I think that's a great accomplishment for him. Yeah, I know he put a lot, of, a lot of time, a lot of effort and work into it, and seeing him finally get that done, it's, it's awesome. Brady knows how to hustle. He knows how to be very um, creative and think outside the box when it comes to um, uh, making his own money to pay for his own uh, flight and instruction and the equipment and the simulator and renting the plane. So to, you have to take a 60 question written test and score above a 70% on that. Um, that's your written exam and then when you turn 17 and get your license or whenever you get your license you have to take a practical exam with a person designated by the FAA for your region and they do a about two hour oral exam with you going over flight plans and other stuff that you might have missed on your test and then a practical exam where you're in this airplane with them and um, flying around uh, making sure you can fly. You know, it's it's fun. It's it's fun getting to fly with a, a friend who's been wanting to be a pilot for so long, and just getting to go up there and fly around. It's it's a really cool experience. And I'd never felt anything like it before. Never had experienced anything like it before. And it just uh, it caught the bug caught me. They call it the aviation bug, but I got sick with the bug. For FHS TV, I'm Natalie Harris. Back to the desk. Thanks, Natalie. The FHS Theater production of Plaza Suite has opened and will offer performances throughout this weekend. You can still see the show tonight at 7 p.m. and on Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets cost $8 for students and $10 for others. Make sure to reserve your seat now because seating is limited. You can find the link to purchase tickets in the student announcements. If you are interested in a four-week summer program, you can apply to Arkansas Governor's School. Students must be nominated by FHS in order to submit a Governor's School application. To be eligible for nomination, you must complete the FHS AGS nomination form no later than next Friday, November 11th. Students who complete the form will be invited to an informational meeting. If you miss fall wrestling tryouts, you still have a chance to make the team. Second Chance Tryouts will be on November 9th from 4 to 5 p.m. 
Contact Coach Petty at the link on your screen for more details. Residents of Fayetteville are always conscious of the environment and ways to help in that area. Bulldog reporter Ben Watson takes us behind the scenes of the green team here at FHS and how they are helping with that cause. Recycling is a great way to help the environment. FHS ambassadors have helped bring back recycling to FHS. A lot of work went to bringing recycling back to FHS and um, truly the FHS ambassador students and the green team took it under their wing and um, got the program brought back. Recycling has returned to some rooms in phase two and is returning throughout the building. So we talked to Emma R. Mendez about who's the sustainability coordinator for our public schools and basically got her to give us as many bins as we needed. We sent out a form for teachers to fill out if they would like to participate in recycling. And every Friday, the FHS ambassadors um, will pick it up, sort, and then we'll take them down to the recycling area. So slowly, over the next couple of weeks, we'll implement it into phase three and four. And I think that we'll see a lot of really, you know, a lot of materials being picked up that would otherwise have gone to waste. Pay attention for recycling around FHS. For FHS TV, I'm Ben Watson. Back to the desk. What a great cause. Thanks, Ben. After the break, we'll hear from Aiden Mills with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. FHS TV, this is Thomas Chambers. From the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Sean Newman. Back to you guys. Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. After moving the game up one day because of inclement weather, the Purple Dog football team wrapped up the regular season with a win over the rival Harbor Wildcats Thursday night. The Bulldogs end the season with a 7-3 record and enter the playoffs next week on a three-game winning streak. Since our last show, the FHS Volley Dogs finished off their amazing season with their third straight state championship. The Dogs didn't lose a single set to an in-state opponent and ended the year ranked sixth in the nation. What a great way to represent FHS. That's all for this sports report. As always, make sure to come out and support your Bulldogs. I'm Thomas Owens, back to the desk. Halloween was this past week and many people at FHS decided to dress up and get into the spirit. FHS TV hit the halls to see how students here plan to celebrate. In the spirit of Spooktober, we decided to ask everyone's favorite thing about Halloween. And we also reminded them that everyone's entitled to a good scare. Uh, my favorite Halloween candy has to be candy corn. I mean, you can't go wrong with candy corn. It's like perfect. My favorite Halloween candy is definitely Reese's. Um, the reason is that it's, it's peanut butter. It's like one of my favorites and it's chocolate. And My favorite Halloween candy is definitely the Milky Way or the Three Musketeers. My favorite Halloween movie is probably It. It's just, I just love it. It's great. My favorite candy is Reese's. I dressed up a couple years back just wearing a scary mask and like a hoodie and stuff and scared people. That's about it. The scariest thing I can think of? Oh my goodness! And that's what AFHS students are looking forward to this Halloween season. I'm Keyshawn Zaid, and you're watching the Bulldog Weekly. Boo. Thanks. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHS-Bulldog-TV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Carly Kidd. And I'm Eleanor Eichmann. We'll see you next time. Yes!